Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button now and join my Glow family here. I do everything from videos talking about makeup, product reviews, I give my full honest opinion about things, I don't hold back. So you're gonna get 100% of my opinion on this channel, as well as videos like home decor, which is gonna be coming really soon to my channel, renovation projects, all that good stuff. So if you like those sorts of videos, definitely think about subscribing. But today I wanted to do a video for you guys today for my moving mamas, my busy babes out there, basically anybody who wants to get ready in a GIF and basically do their makeup in about 10 minutes or so. If I don't have a whole lot of time to get all dolled up, all glammed up and do like the full 100 step makeup process um, and I only have like 10 to 15 minutes in the morning to get ready, this is my routine. So this makeup look really to me is the most simple of makeup looks. It takes me about 10 to 15 minutes max to do this makeup look and I want to show you how I get ready in a GIF when I need to but still look pulled together. I am a busy working mom. I am running a Around all over the place like a chicken with my head cut off all the time so if you're like me and you want a simple makeup routine but you still want to look beautiful by the end of it this video is for you so if you guys want to see how I get ready in about 10 minutes just keep on watching always recommend to start with good skincare. So in the morning time, I do my skincare routine, I moisturize, I put my eye cream on and all that good stuff. Skin is essential because this makeup routine, really it's all about skin and also a little bit about eyebrows too, but definitely about skin. You're gonna look natural and just vibrant and beautiful by the end of it. So I highly recommend um, you start with good skincare. Also don't forget about your SPF. And let's get right into this, you guys. I really only have a very few amount of products here. When I get all glammed up and dolled up, my whole makeup vanity is like full of makeup. But on the days like this where I gotta get ready super duper quick, um, I only have a handful of products that I use. And that also saves you a lot of time in reaching for products and pulling different products. It does cut down the time. So if you can find products that work for you, and maybe some of these products will work for you, um, you'll save yourself a whole lot of time from digging in drawers and pulling things out and reaching for different things. So that is one of my big tips for getting ready super quick is find products that are multitaskers that can do different things. Basically streamline your makeup to just a handful of products. So let's start with primer. I always use primer because again, it's all about skin in this makeup routine and just making your skin look as healthy and beautiful and poreless as possible. So the primer that I have been reaching for basically for the last year every single day, which I really like, is the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. I like this because it does smooth out my skin. It has a blurring effect to my pores. It does really do a good job of just making my skin feel really silky and soft and giving a good base so I can lay down my foundation and my other products. And I like to use my Holy Grail concealer. This is by Too Faced. This is the Born This Way concealer. There are a lot of concealers that I use, but this one just to me is the most natural. So in this case, because I'm not going full glam, I want my, my makeup to look natural. Otherwise, if I have really cakey, heavy concealer, then it's gonna look off compared to the rest of my makeup, which is gonna be really light and natural. So I love this concealer. It is also very hydrating. Um, it doesn't dry out my under eyes, which is where I'm going to be using it. So let's go ahead and conceal. I like to add some concealer underneath my eyes. I also like to bring it onto my eyelids. Just like so. And now I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that in. So 
So now that my concealer is blended, I'm gonna go ahead into foundation. The foundation that I use um, on a day-to-day -day basis, especially when I'm doing just like an everyday makeup look, and I also use this when I wanna glam it up too, but it is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I love this stuff. It is really nice coverage. Um, so you don't have to work too hard to blend this, and it also does a good job of covering any redness, pigmentation. So again, this is all about skin. So you want your skin to really be the standard out in this makeup look and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my beauty blender to pounce it out I know like I'm blending at the speed of light right now but this is no joke what I do when I'm really running late or I just need to get out the door I just work my foundation in as quick as possible and I move on I also like to take it onto my eyelids as well. Okay, now that my foundation is on, you guys, I'm gonna go into setting powder. And my favorite setting powder is, again, another Too Faced product. It is the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I reach for this like every single day. I love this powder. I have it in medium and I have it in translucent. Um, you can just use translucent. I really feel like it doesn't like give any glare to the skin or really any color to the skin. So you could get away with using this. I don't know for my richer, deeper mamas out there with the skin tones. I don't know if this is gonna be that good of an option. You might wanna go for the medium or the deep that they carry. But I like to actually mix these two together because I feel like I do wanna give a little warmth to my skin, but I don't want it to be too much. I have a nice big fluffy powder brush here. This is from Sonia Kashik. I love this brush so, so much. I like to dab my brush in in the pot, take a little bit of the translucent, and then pick up a little bit of the medium. I'm going to tap off the excess, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and I am going to, I basically just like stamp it all over my face is what I do, um, and I go pretty fast because I gotta go. I really do actually have to go. Like I am running out the door to a meeting, so I thought this would be a good chance to really see like real life what happens when I need to leave the house quickly. And obviously if I wasn't talking, it'd be even faster. It creates like this softness to your skin, which I just think is so beautiful and still very natural. So what I also like to do is I like to pick up a little bit of the translucent on my beauty blender and I'm just gonna add just a little bit underneath my eyes and kind of brighten those areas up. Especially for my busy mamas who don't get enough sleep. You definitely wanna think about, you know, concealing underneath the eyes and adding just a little bit of powder to set it. And you can also take it and you can add it to your lid, which I also like to do. That way any foundation or concealer that you have on your lid does not crease and it just sets the eye. So now that that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I have two brow pencils here. Both are really good brow pencils. This one is a little bit more expensive. This is Wonder Beauty. Um, and it is in the color, this color is dark brown. I think this one retails for 20, but if you are a budget babe and you want a budget option, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil is my go-to. I always, I have like four of these at all times in my drawer. So I'm just gonna use this one because it is really easy for everybody to access and find. You guys hear my stomach growling? I haven't even had time to eat. Like I'm so, I'm gonna be so busy today. So I like to just fill in um, my natural brows and I like to keep the same shape. I don't go too crazy with it. I like to start underneath my brows and basically build out the shape underneath. And then I kind of bring it in really lightly at the very front. I don't want it to come out too far. And then I just kind of add like almost like hair strokes inside my brows. And I don't press very hard because I don't want them to be super dark and super bold. Because again, this is a natural look. So you don't want your brows to be the only thing that people see when you walk in the room. 
And I like to add little hair strokes at the very front, but really softly. Then what I like to do is I like to take the spoolie side and I like to kind of pull the product up in the front of my brows and kind of, what this does is it feathers it out so it's not super harsh in the very front and then I just bring it all the way through, make sure all my hairs are facing the same direction. Do that in the front here. And voila, I have brows. Now what I like to do is I like to just run a little bit of my Benefit Gimme Brow through my brows and add just a little bit more depth and dimension. This color is number five and this adds just a little bit of depth to my brows because that pencil, even in black, isn't even that dark. Um, and so this kind of coats my actual hairs and brings them back to life. Okay, brows are on, faces on. Now we're gonna move to complexion. Again, I'm gonna reiterate this, that this is all about skin. And what you want is your skin to shine through the night, so, or the day, actually. But we're gonna get into a complexion palette that I absolutely love. I do recommend that if you're looking to simplify your makeup routine, that you get a complexion palette that works for you, that has a really good neutral contour. It has a blush and a highlighter, and um, something that you can just reach for one palette and basically complete multiple steps. This is from Cover FX. This is their Face Perfector palette. There's lots of different brands that have different types of palettes. This is the one that I personally enjoy using. It does have a blush. It actually has a brightener as well. It has a contour, two highlighters, and actually a third highlighter, which is really, really a light, kind of bright white. Now, I do know that Cover FX makes this palette in a couple of different skin tone ranges. This one is in light medium. You don't want to go too deep or too dark when it comes to contour for a natural, easy, simple makeup look. Um, you want it to be as close, maybe two or three shades deeper than your natural skin tone. But this is what I use um, when I just wanna reach for one palette and basically get everything done in one shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick up the contour shade here. I'm gonna tap it out. I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth and um, shadow to my cheek area. You just wanna add, because you did foundation, you wanna add a little bit of dimension back into your face but I just kind of just swirl it. I'm, I'm pretty aggressive with it. I'm not gentle, as you can see, like I'm going for it because I gotta, like I said, I'm a busy woman. I gotta do this quick and I gotta leave the house. Um, I also take a little bit of it on the top of my forehead and I blend it pretty aggressively from my hairline. I just take it down and I swipe it down the side of my forehead and uh, my temple, and I'm gonna do that on this side as well. And then I'm gonna make sure that the line is really blended out. I don't want anything harsh on my forehead. And that's also why I recommend choosing a contour that is closer to your skin tone and not too deep because you don't want to have a lot of problem blending the contour line. I'm also gonna take it underneath my chin, which I always like to kind of darken this area. Um, and so that way it camouflages any of my, my turkey, my turkey chin that I have. I'm taking a smaller brush here, more of a detail brush. And I wanna take it on my nose. I always contour my nose, you guys. Like, this is a step I will not miss. And this is like a messy contour, by the way. That's not like a perfect contour, but I don't really mind because I am going to blend it out anyways. But it just helps to kind of frame the nose area. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the blush color here. I'm gonna just use a very, very small amount and I'm gonna add a little color into the apples of my cheeks.
So I'm using the same brush again. I have not switched brushes this whole time. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mix these two highlighters and I'm just gonna dust a very light highlight onto my cheeks. Now, you can skip this step, but I love highlighter and this adds like that luminosity into your complexion that maybe the powder um, covered up. I also like to take it onto my lid and kind of just bring it down from my lid as a C formation onto my cheek. I do take a little bit and I add it to my nose, my tip of my nose, and the bridge of my nose. And I like to add a little glitter mustache, a highlight mustache, so I just swipe it on the top of my lip basically. Now you can go ahead and stop here. You can apply some lip gloss and run out of the door, but for the ladies who want just a little bit more glam to their morning and daytime routine, I'm going to show you how to accomplish just a little bit more of a makeup look at this point, but I do basically do that and then I leave a lot of times. I do add some lip gloss. Let's go ahead and show you how you can add a little bit more of a makeup look to this makeup routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush again. I'm gonna dip into my contour and I'm just gonna add this contour to my lid. This is a great contour in this palette. It is a little bit dusty, but what I like is it, it really is easy to blend and easy to work with. It does, I do not have to struggle with this at all. But I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna go swipe side to side over my lid. And I'm not going too high. I'm not going all the way to underneath my brows because that's where I added a little bit of that highlight. So I still want that highlight to stand out. I will be adding a little bit of mascara just to the bottom of my lashes just to give a little bit more depth to my lash line. But um, I have lash extensions so that definitely is a time saver for me. I don't normally have to do much with my eyelashes unless I'm doing like a full glam look. I've been doing eyelash extensions since before, like it even became such a popular thing. I've literally been doing eyelash extensions for probably about 10 to 12 years, so a long time. Um, now lately I have been doing my own eyelash extensions at home just because I'm busy and I don't have time to go lay down for an hour and a half to have somebody apply my lashes. So I just do it at home at my convenience. Um, if you guys wanna see a video of me doing a self application at home with my eyelash extensions, let me know in the comment box below and I'll be happy to upload that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this look with lips and then we're done. So I love this lip pencil by Morphe. It's hands down like the best natural neutral lip pencil I've ever used. This is in the color Caviar. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. Now that my lips are lined, I'm gonna go ahead and add some lip gloss. This, you don't have to use this particular lip gloss, obviously. You pick one that you like, but um, I do really like this lip gloss. This is from Steve Laurent, and this is in the color Posh. So that's all I do, you guys, that is it. So I think that this is just a simple makeup look because you're not using a whole lot of products. I'm really just using pretty much this palette to do the majority of my contour, my highlight, my blush, my shadow. But again, it's really easy because the product is easy. You don't have to reach in your drawers and pull a bunch of stuff out. And my desk isn't that messy at the end of this either. So if you guys liked this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up so that I know. Also comment below with any feedback that you may have and let me know what you guys thought. I love you guys so, so much. I will catch you guys on the next video. But for now, Busy Mama has to hit the door. Bye. Mwah.